Once again, I must ask too much of you, Harry. Right? In this film, Dumbledore is initiating Harry into what he's going to have to do. You are, of course, wondering why I brought you here tonight. Actually, sir, after all these years, I just sort of go with it. There's still a serious undertone to the film, but it really captures a magic. It's a really good script, actually. It's a really good story. Voldemort is back, and the Death Eaters are destroying a bridge in London and attacking the magical world. They have to get this particular local one to come back to Hogwarts because he possesses the final clue to destroy Voldemort. This memory is everything. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. What we're seeing in this film is Dumbledore preparing Harry for that ultimate battle. They go on this journey together. It becomes quite dramatic and exciting. You're the chosen one, Harry. What you see before you, it's a curious little potion. It does cause powerful infatuation. What makes this film different is that it really captures teenage relationships and just how different girls and boys are. There is a lot of the romance stuff, and that's very, very entertaining script. I'm in love with her. All oh, right, have you ever actually met her? No. Can you introduce me? Oh, God. The Ron gets this sort of serious relationship with this quite crazy girlfriend, Lavender Brown. Baby. She's very focused on her desire for Ron, and she is going to get him. These girls, they're going to kill me. Harry is completely torn because he realizes he fancies his best friend's sister. That's just like a big no-no. Hey! Her brother is his best mate, so he doesn't want to jeopardize that, but at the same time, he really wants to kiss Jenny. OK, sorry. I'd like you to meet Professor Horace Slughorn. Dumbledore's persuaded Horace Slughorn, who's an old teacher, to come back. Slughorn is obsessed by celebrity, but at the same time, there's something quite charming about him. To life! <laughs> Slughorn has his sort of favourites, and Ron definitely isn't on his favourite list. Harry Potter is the big bait for him, a star who he can add to his mantelpiece. This is the most important memory I've connected. There's a dark secret in his past, and he's a... Uh, Reluctant to talk about it, but that's where Harry comes in. Now get out of here at once! Dumbledore suspects that he holds the key to the Voldemort. Harry has to try and get Slughorn to divulge the true memory. They are mad times. It's terror out there. Ah! What you are looking at are memories. In this case, pertaining to one individual, Tom Riddle. Dumbledore takes Harry on this sort of mission with him. I knew a boy who made all the wrong choices. In this film, Harry finding out about Voldemort as a young student. In all the years Tom's been here, he's never once had a visitor. I go to see Tom Riddle in the children's home. He's in the poor boy. I find him in a black, dark cell. I can make things move without touching them. That's only odd about him. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. He knows some deep, shocking thing about the young Voldemort. I can speak to snakes, too. They find me. Whisper things. Did you know, sir? Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. This film was brilliant and very, very funny and kind of endearing. Number six has so much fun and humour. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. OK, sorry. Um, kidding. This is the funniest of the films. There are a lot of pratfalls and a lot of uh, mishaps. We get to see Rupert in particular flex his comedic muscles. We're doing comedy Quidditch, because comedy Quidditch has never been done before. Ron's trying to um, compete for a place in the Quidditch team. He's not actually sort of really that talented at Quidditch. Really? Actually, he's terrible. All the way through the filming, I was in stitches just laughing at, at all of it. I think audiences will love this one. Yeah.